Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is with you. Welcome back to Bailiwick Fishing. I'm Neil, if you have only joined for the first time, welcome to the channel. If you can hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, that helps, it's absolutely free. Anyway, it's a sunny day, it's after work, I'm buzzing, it's been a good day. We're gonna finish the day off, we're doing a bit of shore fishing. So we're heading off down to the west coast of Guernsey, down to my favorite part of the island and where I am from. Gonna be getting two rods out today. We're gonna be fishing out the back of the van. It's an easterly wind. Urgh, easterly winds, not good. But we're going down, we've got a bit of time. So it's an hour before high water, spring tide, nine meter tide. Uh, yeah, strong wind, so we will be out the back of the van and we will be sheltered, so got my packed lunch, got the two rods, got the tripod. Two days bait is verm or rock verm. It's uh, like a ragworm, but it's uh, something we can dig over here on very low tides and it's quite hard going in all fairness. You have to dig it in uh, silty ground uh, well silty rock pools basically and it's quite quite an art to, dig, to digging it to be honest and um yeah we've got some of that which i've been in dig uh, a while ago so i've defrosted it frozen enough kept enough for the uh for the sessions and i've got some orma guts or abalone guts so it's the uh the the, the internals of the uh of the orma which is another good bass bait that's that is the that is the uh, target species tonight, bass. Now it's currently five o'clock in the evening, so the sun is low in the sky and high water is at 6.30. It's about a five minute journey to the mark, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a cup of tea or a beer, and we'll see you down at the mark and I'll give you a run through of the gear that I'm using. I just remembered another thing, so uh, for those of you that uh, watched the last video, and have continued to support the channel. I'd love to say a big thank you to you all. The channel is really going well at the moment, as it has been always, but uh, especially at the moment, really getting the support from you. So a uh, big thank you to everyone, old and new. You're all equal and you will really appreciate it. I will be bringing you the best content I can and making sure that it's enjoyable for everyone. My target is to make it enjoyable for everyone, be it your kids, be it your elderly people that are re living their memories of when they used to go fishing down the beach it might have been when they used to go pulling the crab pots it might have been when they used to go shore fishing and climbing down the cliffs in the pitch black dark and the pouring rain but that's what i'm trying to do if i can help everyone relive a memory for those of you that can't go i hope you're enjoying it and for those of you that have just started fishing well keep watching and you might pick up some tips even from someone like me <laughs> so keep watching and we'll see you at the beach i'm just about here Look at that, eh? Perfect. Right, so we're going to be fishing straight out of the back of the van. The rods are going to be here. You can see that tide. It's not quite up to the wall. Oh, there's a heck of a breeze coming from that way. Um, so, what the plan is, cast straight out. See those rocks out there? I want to aim for in between those. There's a gully that goes out here. Now, the issue we've got is this seaweed. Yes, it's great, but that's not good, all that down there. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. But anyway, we're gonna be right out, so hopefully we'll go over the back of that. Tide's coming up for another hour. Probably expect it might make it to the wall here. But um, yeah, we shall see. Right, I'm gonna get the rods out. Okay, so with that fantastic view in the background, there you go. Hopefully you all can see that. Oh. So the rod I'm gonna be using today is a Shakespeare 11 foot 6 Shakespeare Sigma bass rod it's a three piece rod a lot of you don't like those I do <laughs> anyway at the business end bead zip slider five ounce bead swivel down to about a foot and a half two foot trace down to a 1-0 Chino hook. This is the first rod, so we're going to use one rod with the verm, and the other rod will be with all my guts or abalone guts. So the verm today is there, and 
It's like winning the lottery. Look at that for a bit of a um, lovely jobly. I'm going to put a nice dollop of this on. Tock it right up. Now it's been frozen, but it's a seriously tough bait. If I put the camera down, hopefully you can see me. Really, really tough bait. And I'm going to really feed it onto that hook well. I want to get it. What you want to try and do is feed it so that it's over the eye of the hook, uh, the eye of the hook where you put the uh, the line through, and then you want to try, if you can, and feed it up your line. Not the easiest. And that there is a lovely worm bait. Might even put a bit of bait elastic if I've got any in the van, probably not. Right, so we'll give you a cast out. You're gonna be in the back of the van because it's better with the sun than as it is. So hopefully you'll see me cast this out. We'll get the tripod set up. I don't like to rest the rods on the wall. Wind. I have the proper crab pot on there. <laughs> right, we get this first bait casted out. Now, with this five ounce weight, it's quite good because I can really try and punch through that wind. Right, here we go. Hopefully, the door doesn't close. <laughs> Bloody door, eh? That's us nicely on the bottom. Lovely job. That's one rod out. I'm going to get the other one set up. We're going to keep an eye on that one, obviously. And I'm going to get a crab pot out the van and stack it there so it doesn't blow the door in. Who put this bloody rock here? I keep tripping over it. <laughs> Look at that for a backdrop. Fantastic. As I say, the, the sea's a bit confused this area of the island because it's easterly winds. So it's going that way because that's the west. So it's going that way, but the tide's coming in. It's not really sure what's going on. It's, it's just a bit confused. The water's really murky today. Fish on guys. Nice bend in the rod here. I'm going to have to go down. Oh, did I hook something, guys? Look at that for a gilded. Oh, what a beast. What a beast. Look at. Look at that. Fell for that uh, worm. Oh my goodness. What a beauty. Woohoo! Boo! 
Boom! The rod was gone! That, guys, is a fine gilt head bream. I am over the moon. Look at that gold bar on the front. Prime condition. That absolutely smashed it. Boom! The rod went. Awesome. That worm really did, did work well. Wow. I've been literally fishing for 10 minutes. There was no messing around with that. That one's coming home for the table for me. I've been wanting to try gilt head bream for ages. And that one is it. Oh, who said easterly winds were bad, eh? We've come out and bang, straight onto the fish. You beauty. Well happy with that. That's really made the, my day. Fantastic. Monday. Uh, no, Monday, Tuesday. Whoever cares what day it is, the week is. Boom. I'm so happy. But guys, I couldn't show you too much of that because I was down there. There was all that seaweed I was showing you at the start of the video. It was mental. So uh, I, I just had to get that in. I didn't want to lose it. I thought it was a bass. It just went boom like that. But then I thought, oh, it could be. And uh, I saw a flash on the top of the water. And yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. Make sure you hit the like button now. Subscribe. It's free. Let's get some more. And we're going to put a bell on this time because I'm going to be facing you guys. I want to know when the action's happening. So got a little bell. We can hear if any bites. Check this for a dodgy rig. <laughs> I'm using a clip swivel. I'm going to put the weight on there and the trace on the bottom. I forgot the, uh, I don't know where the zip sliders are gone, but we're winging it and it's working. <laughs> we'll carry on. You all right? I think he's let go. No, he's on. Got another one here, you guys? Oh, come off, Got one already. If it's, if it's still on, it feels smaller. Oh, yeah. Little bass. That's how you do it, see? The other one's better. That. There you go, it's another bass. Well, it's a bass with a gilt head before. That's number two for the uh, for the verm. Here, I'll check this out, look. Fine fish. This one will go back. Okay. That one's a nice green one, isn't We'll get the um we'll get the weight on it, the bell on it, and we'll go and release that bass. We're gonna get that bass released now. Back down the steps. We're gonna have to give him a bit of a lob to get him in. And there he goes, shot straight back down. Right, let's quick get up and check on these rods. We're gonna get that second rod in. See if we can get another one. That's two. Two down, things happen in threes. Let's go. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Fantastic night. I'm loving it. That's a bite, guys. Feel it biting. Feel it. 
Fish on! Oh, oh, he might be off. So we just lost out on that fish. It just took me into the rocks, into the seaweed, sorry. And I was, I struck into it, it was on. And then uh, as I, uh, I felt a bit of a ping and it just come off. I could feel it fighting and then it was off. So uh, never mind, eh? we've had the gilt head, that nice gilt head. We've had the bass and the lightings are out again. So hopefully we're not finished yet. Well, I can't think of a better way to end the session. Look at that. We've had a great session. We've had that fantastic gilt head bream. And for those of you wanting to know the size of it, I'm just about to head home and we're gonna weigh it. Because thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our session. We had that gilt head, we had that bass. I lost another and we had a few other bites. We'll be back strong as ever. Help me out by hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button, check out Facebook, check out Instagram. We're gonna be back out in this weather and fishing again soon. Till next time, take care. It's Bader McFishing.